What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today it is New Year's Eve and I think that I wanted to talk about how everyone says, oh it's New Year, it's a new me. Well, I'm not saying that because <laughs> it's going to be the same old me, New Year, but you know definitely wanting to share my goals and my aspirations for 2021 so if you're new here make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get my videos so of course once again i'm going to start it off by saying you know yes it's going to be a new year 2021 2020 first of all has been one of the roughest years for everyone in general. I think that it put everyone to the test. I think that it definitely, you know, brought people closer. I definitely think that it showed people like we need each other. And <clears throat> I definitely feel that 2020 was rough as far at first, as far as, you know, being able to see my mother and you know wondering if I should let the kids see my grandparents their great-grandparents and eventually you know like you know you know that your family is the safest because you talk to them every day you you know you want to see them you want your 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 mother or your father or you want your grandparents to see your kids and then of course the kids want to see them so 2020 you know hasn't stopped me or my kids from seeing family members um as far as hanging out with other family members you know then the normal the mother the grandmother grandfather um you know it, it definitely hasn't um it has stopped other than them and um you know of course 2020 coronavirus covid19 uh, definitely put a strain on me being home since March. Um, you know, of course, being a teacher, I've been home since March. Um, the kids have been home with me since March. And they, you know, we've just been rolling with the flow, doing the schoolwork. We've been, you know, teaching. We've been house cleaning. We've been able to, you know, train our dog. So we got our dog right before uh, the coronavirus basically hit America and so I had maybe one week back at work um when I had when I first got my dog and then after that I basically was stuck here with him so I had plenty of time to train him plenty of time to spend with him plenty of time to just you know break him into the house I um you know, haven't had time to really, let's just say, renovate my house that I am currently renting. Um, you know, under circumstances, you know, you live near people who, you know, can make loud noises, have their company in your yard. You, you know, have parking issues. So I haven't put much into my house for 2020. Um, as far as, you know, making it look spiffy. Um, so, all of my goals for 2021 are as follow. Number one, the main thing on my list of accomplishments and goals for 2021 is to become a homeowner. Um, my main goal to become a homeowner is because I have been renting for the last six years, almost seven, um, and I have lived in three different places. I've lived in two apartments, and then, of course, I've lived in a house. My first apartment, um, we had neighbors above us who, you know, were stomping. We could hear everything, and it became a hassle to where we had to go upstairs, knock on the door, and, you know, say, hey, you know, we have kids downstairs. You guys are making noise. It's 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, so we end up moving away from that situation. And so we were there from 
August of 2014 until June 2015. And so then 2015 up until 2016, we were at another apartment and this time we were below someone again. But, um, you know, two college girls moved in, claimed that, you know, all of a sudden every day we were just hearing banging, 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 thudding, thudding, thudding. So, you know, confronting and say, hey, you know, look, I, I, have, I have a child less than one downstairs and, you know, you guys are making a lot of noise, you know? So, of course, oh, we're not doing anything. Um, so I got tired of that, basically. Um, so when working as a teacher at a preschool that I was previously working at, I, you know, asked around like for private landlords because I got tired of dealing with the apartment complexes and I just, I just, I just needed something. So I ended up finding a private landlord and um, I ended up moving into this house that I'm currently in, in um, February of 2016. And I've been here since. We've almost been here four years. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you know, um, it's a nice three bedroom house, but with, you know, having neighbors behind you, it's only right, I guess, that you have neighbors who feel that they can play loud music and that they can have company over all day, every day, every other minute, and that they're, you know, their company be in your yard. And then, you know, of course I have a dog, but my dog doesn't you know, go out in the, um, he doesn't wander. He's on a, he's on a stake outside, uh, majority of the time, or he's on a leash that I walk. And, you know, one day, um, another stray animal pooped in my neighbor's yard and she put it on top of my trash can. So instead of just picking it up and throwing it away in your trash can, um, you know, she put it on mine thinking that my dog did it. And, you know, it's just the little things, you know, I have um, two kids, so I kind of feel like, you know, at the end of the day, if you're blasting music 10, 11 o'clock at night while they're trying to sleep and I have to put them in my bed until you're done, you know, jamming, it's kind of disrespectful. Um, you know, shouldn't have to knock on your door and say, hey, you know, your music is loud. So, um, no, you know, 2020, I have not been invested into doing much to the house that I'm renting. Um, we did paint in here, but it was no use. So of course my goal for 2021 is to become a homeowner and you know, have my own little home. Nobody, you know, right, literally smack dab next to me on the left or the right, nobody in the back of me and nobody to fight over, you know, parking with, nobody to worry about having to hear their loud music. And, you know, I think that nowadays people are just so, um, so afraid to, you know, just talk things out and they bottle everything in. And then it's just like, you know, when you see them, you walk with your, your head down. So it's kind of like you, you're feeling guilty about something, but you know that, you know, you've, you've obviously disrespected or you feel that you, it might not, you know, change anything. So definitely that is the main goal for 2021 as far as living, as far as my body goes, 2021, I definitely want to work out on sun Sundays at least for 30 to 40 minutes. And then of course, Monday through Friday, I at least want to, you know, maintain my squats. And I just want to definitely just, you know, drink more water. I want to try to eat more healthier and, you know, try and just mend away from, you know, making my little bakery dishes and making sweet things. So I definitely want to move away from the junk and just try to eat more healthy and eat, like, I guess you could say less just to you know, try and level out with the uh, working out. I definitely want to invest into some more workout equipment. I have the loop resistant bands. I have the ab wheel and I have um, two dumbbells and I have the waist trainer and I have a slimming belt. 
Um, so, you know, some of the things that I've tried for 2020 that I'm not going to do in 2021, um, I have used VIX and then put the slimming belt on. I don't think that it helps. Um, I have been using um, the Palmer's cocoa butter oil and the stretch mark oil to try and get rid of the stretch marks. You know, of course, I have two kids and I definitely wanted to go away, but that's beauty. And I'm not, I, I don't expect for it to just go away. And I want to work on just staying fit, walking. You know, I, it got cold, we stopped, but I feel like just because it's cold, I can't, I can't stop myself from going outside to just, you know, run around in a circle or jog or, you know, do some exercises out in the yard. So I definitely want to get back into doing that. As far as school goes, I am basically halfway done to getting my bachelor's. I have 50 more percent, basically. Um, and I definitely want to accomplish at least five classes per semester. So that'll be 15. So yep, that'll be 15 classes that I want to get done by the end of 2021. And then I think I should have about <clears throat> less than 15 to take for 2022. So I'm definitely trying to get on the ball of getting all of my classes taken, passed, and in, you know, I just want to, I really want to keep it moving. I'm really trying to get towards obtaining my degree, being able to use it, and, you know, env I envision myself by 2023 being in a classroom as the main teacher with an instructional assistant like I am now, and, you know, teaching and leading children down the right path, and setting them up for nothing but success. So, that's my plan for 2021 as a college student. My YouTube 2021 goal, let's just say, I would like to put more videos out that people can relate to. And, you know, of course, just coming into it, I am trying to figure out, you know, what's more up, up everybody's alley. Unfortunately, with Corona, I can't really travel to make videos, um, but definitely can, you know, share my experiences and I can share, you know, what I have been through, what I have done, and, you know, I can always reach out and ask for advice in the comment section down below. So definitely want to get myself more out there and, you know, have more people watch the videos and I just want to be more successful with being more productive about making them. And, you know, this also is helping me in the long run because I just recently started doing YouTube videos when I had to do a discussion for class, um, education class I just took. and. I seem really nervous on there, so it's like the more that I talk and the more that I do these videos, I'm more confident with talking and, you know, staring into a camera. And, you know, this definitely is going to help me in the long run when I am in the classroom as the teacher, helping, you know, these children learn and grow and grow into little flowers. Of course, last but not least, since I'm talking about my goals for 2021, my goals for 2021, when I said that I wanted to, you know, try to be more fit, to work out more, and, you know, to, of course, slim my two lovely children's body fat on me <laughs> down, I wanted to just put out there that the products that I've, you know, tried 
um, as far as losing weight and as far as, you know, cutting back on meals and stuff. So I definitely have tried the Slim Fast and I just, I just don't know. I think that, you know, maybe that's like a breakfast thing for me. I don't know, how, you know, if you guys do it, let me know how you do it. I definitely have tried the fat burner pills. Um, I take one in the morning, one at night. I don't know if you guys have used them and if they're working for you all, let me know. May I mean, maybe it could depend on everybody differently. Um, I definitely have tried the apple cider vinegar pills. So I do one in the morning and one at night as well. Um, I definitely feel like those help. But I think that it, it more just breaks down like the food that you the foods that you have consumed. Um, and then of course I have the waist trainer, I have the slimming belt, and um, of course, like I said, I have the workout equipment. Um, you know, I'm five five, basically five six, whichever one you want to say, and I weigh 180 pounds, and I have worked out you know like every other day for at least 45 minutes to an hour and you know i do like a lot around the house to try and help out with like walking since i'm not able to get out and walk at the moment since it's like getting so cold and i have you know i've definitely tried to like wear the waist trainer like for majority of the day and i can do it it's just i don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's ma ma working magic like it would on a celebrity, but then again, we all know how that goes. So if you have any suggestions of other things that I could try, let me know in the comment section down below. I definitely love feedback, and I want to know what you're trying. I want to know what's working for you. It might work for me, but anything's worth a try because, you know, I want to meet that goal and be successful. Um, so before the kids, I was down to one, I was at 1.30. And, you know, after my first kid, I did go back to 1.30. Um, unfortunately with my daughter, I ate more. Um, my son, I was always sick, throwing up. So I couldn't really consume anything. Um, but with her, I could because I wasn't throwing up. So I'm just trying to measure it out to where you know i'm being successful in losing weight and you know doing what i have to do to reach my goal thanks for watching